Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the IWC Pilot's Watch Chronograph Top Gun Reference 3880-07, 46mm by 16.5mm thick in black ceramic. In many ways, this watch is the culmination of a 27-year convergence course. Now, in 1988, IWC took its long-running Pilot's Watch line, and it had been making them since the 1930s, and it launched the first pilot's chronograph within that line. Fast forward to 2002 and we see the emergence of the big pilot, really a resurrection of an ancestral large instrument style watch IWC built during the 1940s. The big pilot became the face of the IWC pilot's watch franchise and in 2012 it spawned this chronograph variant. Part of the Top Gun collection this watch represents sort of an avant-garde, adventurous, experimental variant of IWC's pilot watches. A little bit more of a lifestyle watch, a little bit more expressive and flamboyant. It nevertheless captures that classical instrument aesthetic, as well as the mechanical integrity that you expect from watches built in Schaffhausen. Now I'm going to put it on the wrist, and I'm just going to emphasize that fully ceramic, 16 and a half millimeters thick, the watch sits nice and flush. It doesn't feel nearly as big as it is, although it is part of the Big Pilots family tree. Ceramic is somewhere between steel and, I would say, some, some sort of aluminum or even a maybe a titanium type of material, maybe even a composite like ceramized aluminum or carbon fiber. The ceramic really is quite manageable in terms of mass on the wrist, so there are no hot spots, no pressure points. The watch is nicely counterweighted because the watch head doesn't weigh that much. The combination textile and calfskin leather strap, made by Santoni no less for IWC, is very comfortable and counterweighted by a titanium full deployment. Now the watch is a little bit large for my wrist. I would say this is pretty much the limit. 46 millimeters in diameter on my wrist, which is 6 and a third inches in circumference, 16 centimeters for those of you in Schaffhausen. The bottom line is that I think if you like the big watch look, you can easily wear this on a wrist of my size. Now I will add that my wrist is pretty classical in profile, ovalish, a little bit flat across the top. So if you have a conventionally shaped wrist the size of mine or larger, you could easily pull this off. Now the look, the black watch look, is really something that came about as of the late 1990s, but it wasn't until the mid to late 2000s that the advent of black ceramic cured the Achilles heel of the big black watch. Previously all powder coated or anodized, the cases when they were metal with a metal with a black coating looked great until they were scratched and then the metallic gleam shining through would completely ruin the effect, taking them from awesome to awful in about half a second. It's kind of like Jerry Seinfeld's old joke about hair, how much money and time and energy you lavish on it and then a single thread falls off and it becomes the most vile thing imaginable. That was sort of the thing with the black watches back in the day. They were awesome until marred, and as soon as they'd been dented or scratched, they were immediately unsightly. Not so with ceramic. A modern material, not only is it light and durable, but it has the same degree of scratch resistance in practical terms as the sapphire crystal of a modern luxury watch. So the black finish is not only durable, it's also exceptionally so, and homogenous. So if you were to lightly scratch or chip it, Black is going to show through from underneath. There's no metal within. This is an entirely kiln-fired monoblock case. Now the accents on the crown and the pushers, those are titanium. So they complement the high-tech look that's inherent to this modern pilot watch. And just talking a little bit about that look, since 2007, IWC has been building Top Gun branded watches within the Pilots line. And I really feel like that's kind of a third thread of their modern design tradition. They have the Pilots watches descended from the Mark series that are very traditional, very conservative. They have the big Pilots watches, which are actually descended from the even older b -er and older IWC prototype pilot's watches, some designed for the Luftwaffe, but the big pilots are more of a modern sports watch in proportion, in aesthetic. They're large and in charge. They're expressive and flamboyant. And in many ways, the top gun treatment is that third thread that takes the big pilot look and makes it even more expressive, more, I would say, fun-loving, more jovial, 
a bit more adventurous. Much like a fighter pilot, it's that character you associate with Tom Cruise's character from Top Gun. It's for the mavericks of the world. Whereas I would say the conventional big pilot's watch and the traditional Mark style series, eh, a little bit more conservative. Maybe those are for the Icemen. But the bottom line is that this watch encompasses that more adventurous look. Jet black with ceramic, titanium accents, and a little bit of red detailing on the dial. And that's where we get into some of the additional avant-garde Top Gun features of, of this watch. Now you can see the large exposed date at 3 o'clock. The broad date aperture is something of a progressive styling statement that's made on some of the more adventurous modern Swiss references. Now it's not a challenge to tell what the actual date is. There's an arrow index to indicate the present date. You can see 12 indicated by the arrow right there. But having the full date disc partially exposed it really makes a statement. It's just a little bit out there. Just like the Top Gun reference itself, it's an adventure. It's a bit of an experimental style. Just as is the counterweight to the seconds hand, a silhouette of an F-18 fighter jet, it's a subtle reference to the Top Gun theme of the watch, and that's what I like. Although it is a bit more expressive, a bit more adventurous, a bit more fun-loving and jovial, perhaps, it's not overtly co-branded. I should add that the watch is something of an informal Top Gun affiliation because the main event in terms of the Top Gun signage is the case back. And you can see, if you look carefully, that's actually the logo from the Jerry Bruckheimer film, not the actual logo of the United States Navy Fighter Weapons School. So it's not entirely clear to me what the link between the uh, so-called Top Gun program, which I should add is an informal nickname, not the official name of the program, Fighter Weapons School is the program. It's held at Naval Air Station Fallon these days. It used to be held at Miramar in California. But what IWC has done in this reference is they've captured the fun-loving spirit, I think, of the Bruckheimer classic from 1986. It's Hollywood. It's larger than life. It's expressive. It's a bit of a projection of what you imagine aviation and the aviation lifestyle to be. In a lot of ways, it's highly projectable because you can take your dreams of aviation, whether you're a private pilot, a commercial pilot, or an armchair aviator. And with this on your wrist, you can sort of feel a piece of that dream and get a piece of that fun. Now the IWC Pilot's Watch Chronograph Top Gun 3880-07 has a caliber 89365 IWC manufacturer movement within. Now this is an in-house movement with a 68 hour power reserve, a flyback chronograph, and I'm going to start it up so you can see that in action. It has a flyback chronograph so you can stop, start, and reset the chronograph with a single push of the button. In aviation terms, that is actually pretty useful. That's something a pilot can use for timing standard rate turns and other maneuvers that require careful measurements of time in between transitions. It also features stop seconds, so when you pull the crown, it actually stops the constant seconds indicator at 6 o'clock so you can synchronize to a precise reference time, such as an atomic clock. More than that, it's a column wheel vertical clutch movement. I'm going to activate the flyback here, and you see it starts again. The column wheel ensures that crisp snap sound, that, that tactile pleasure and the audible rifle bolt-like snap that you hear. The column wheel is the traditional watchmaking selection function for a chronograph. Now the vertical clutch is what actually engages the chronograph mechanism and the vertical clutch allows the chronograph to start without a jump, stop without stagger, and reset precisely to the index of 12. It also allows you to run the chronograph continuously if you like the look of a sweep seconds hand rather than a small seconds hand. With a vertical clutch there's no hazard to the movement. Now as I mentioned earlier, 68 hour power reserve far more than the industry average 42 and it's energized by the bi-directional Paul based Peloton winding system created by IWC's master watchmaker Albert Peloton in the early 1950s. It remains one of the most refined, shock resistant and efficient systems to this day and it's a great part of the mechanical lineage that dates back to IWC's heritage as a manufacturer of utility watches par excellence. Just like the instrument of this aesthetic harks back to the 1940s, just like the Top Gun Association in some ways draws roots from the 1960s origin of the Naval Weapon, Fighter Weapons School, just as the chronograph and pilot's watch combination can trace its roots back to the 1980s in the IWC catalog, there are many threads of history at play in this pilot's watch chronograph Top Gun, 
and the movement is just one of many. All the modern standards are present, and on top of everything else, it's anti-magnetic with a soft iron Faraday cage enclosing the entire movement. Free sprung, it's also very rugged, and it's one of the few watches that also has shock protection on the winding rotor for additional durability. 100% complete, this watch includes all original IWC packaging, technical manuals, documents of provenance, and valid warranty from the factory, valid through October of 2015. If you want to live the Top Gun lifestyle or only dream about it, I guarantee this IWC Pilot's Watch Chronograph Top Gun reference 3880-07 is in fact the watch you want.